Hello and welcome to the Film Story Recap Channel. In the cargo hold of the plane, a mysterious experiment box was transported, but the plane was hit by a storm on the way. The violent shaking caused the straps to break. The cargo then fell and hit the guard's leg. At the same time, the experiment box was broken. The subject inside took the opportunity to escape, but she couldn't remember anything. Strange images kept flashing in her head. The guards who heard the sound were immediately alerted. Because this seemingly harmless experiment is not simple, the guard immediately opened fire as soon as the woman appeared in front of them, but the bullet did not hit the other side but hit the electrical box. The plane's communication failed. The woman was confused as to what was going on. She pleaded with the other side not to shoot, to lure the woman out. The guard pretended to agree. See the woman raise her hands and walk out again. He decisively shot the woman. The guard thought the crisis was over, but just when he was changing bullets, the woman's body suddenly disappeared. Before the guard could react, the woman who had turned into a zombie had already appeared in front of him. The passengers on the plane did not know that a terrible disaster was about to happen. Passengers on the plane still have time for biology lessons in the bathroom. When they returned to their seats, the plane began to experience constant bumps due to airflow. Due to the constant bumping of the plane, Dr. Bennett, the owner of the experimental box, was afraid that something would happen, so he asked the co-pilot to go with two assistants to check it out. But when they arrived at the cargo hold, they found that the electrical box was damaged. The experiment box was also empty. The experiments inside had already disappeared. The two assistants had a bad feeling. They were just about to leave the place when a zombie suddenly appeared and jumped on them. The other assistant was also torn apart by the mutated guards. Only the co-pilot managed to escape. He immediately approached Dr. Bennett and asked what was in the experiment box. Dr. Bennett instantly understood that something inside ran out. The co-pilot then went to the cockpit and told the captain what had happened, and have the plane land at the nearest airport in a hurry, otherwise, everyone would be dead, but there was no place to land nearby. They had to return, and they called Judd from the TSA to the cockpit. After learning what happened, Judd immediately approached Dr. Bennett, asking him about the cargo in the cargo bay, but Dr. Bennett refused to disclose any information on the grounds of confidentiality. In desperation, Judd had to go to the aircraft cargo hold with his colleague Burroughs to investigate. But apart from a pool of blood, the two did not find the figure of the zombie, nor did they see anybody. Apparently the person who was bitten has turned into a zombie. Looking at the ventilation duct on the side, they decided to go in and find out what was going on, so they split up and climbed into the ventilation duct. Judd hadn't been inside long before he collided head-on with a walker, scaring him so much that he decided to shoot. Hearing the shot, Burroughs returned to the cargo bay. Just as he called out to Judd, the zombie suddenly rushed out and pounced on him. Good thing Judd got there in time to try to pull the walkers away, but the gun in his hand accidentally discharged. The bullet went through the floor and hit the flight attendant above. The passengers in the cabin were in a state of panic. Judd had to put the gun away, pulled the zombie away with both hands. It took several shots to kill him. The flight attendant was about to report to the captain about the situation in the cabin but did not notice the zombie behind her. She was bitten in the neck on the spot. Hearing the screams, the captain immediately called the co-pilot to go check. The zombie was trying to drag the flight attendant down. The co-pilot opened fire and quickly closed the cargo door. Passengers heard the sound of gunfire and gathered around. The co-pilot hurriedly locked the cargo door tightly. They thought they could keep these walkers inside, but they didn't expect them to be pervasive. A girl just went to the toilet and was attacked by a zombie behind the mirror. Her boyfriend heard the commotion and rushed over immediately, but when they opened the toilet door, they found the girl was gone. However, the moment he turned around, his girlfriend turned into a zombie and suddenly grabbed a passenger. The flight attendant stepped forward and was unfortunately bitten on the arm. The good thing is that the inertia of the plane climbing temporarily let the zombies fall back into the cargo hold of the plane, but they don't know that if they are bitten, they can get infected. On the other side, the co-pilot was locking the cabin door when the flight attendant who had just been bitten suddenly mutated. Before he could react, he was bitten by a zombie. Passengers heard the sound and ran over to check, but the zombies would not let them go. At this point, Dr. Bennett panicked and ran to the cab door for shelter. When the passengers heard Dr. Bennett's cry for help, they were even more frightened. Suddenly, a strong airflow hit the cabin, and the place was in chaos. A passenger did not stand still and fell on the ground. As he was looking for his glasses, a pair of large hands suddenly reached out from the floor and pulled him right in. The passengers fled. 
Billy went to the plane's cockpit door and questioned Dr. Bennett about what was going on, but Dr. Bennett was already scared and said he had to find a place to hide. A zombie suddenly appeared from behind him, but Billy reacted quickly and knocked her down the stairs with a stick. The zombies have poured into the aircraft cabin through the broken hole. Billy came downstairs and picked up the pistol dropped by the co-pilot. But the cargo door suddenly opened, Billy was scared and fell to the ground, just with the corpse of the zombie four eyes. Luckily, it was Judd and Burroughs who came out of it. They told Billy to find a place to hide. Then enter the aircraft cabin and start cleaning up the walkers. And the other section of the aircraft cabin has been completely occupied by zombies. The woman who had just been bitten had also mutated. The unaware stewardess was about to step forward. But the next moment, she was scared and did not know what to do. The zombies were closing in on her. Fortunately, a male passenger appeared in time to save her. On their way to escape, they met a nun who was bitten. It was too late to save her. They could only continue to run away. Finally, they met Judd and Burroughs. The surviving passengers were infected one by one, and the number of zombies was increasing. Several people can only block the passage with goods, set up a pistol, and guarded. On the other side, four people found a ventilation pipe. They decided to climb in. During the crawl, Billy kept asking Dr. Bennett why he was transporting this monster, but Dr. Bennett was only following orders. He only knew it was an experiment to prolong the life. He also did not expect the mutation to occur. However, the next second, the plane suddenly dived, causing the fuselage to shake violently. The woman in front of him fell directly into the aircraft cabin full of zombies. She was dragged away by the zombies. And Dr. Bennett was even worse. He fell directly into the nest of zombies. He scared the zombies who were eating, the zombies saw that it was food and thanked nature for the gift. In the end, only Billy and his wife found Judd and the others. Meanwhile, the captain suddenly heard the co-pilots cry for help. Unaware of this, he decisively opened the door, but did not know that the co-pilot had been bitten. A zombie came along with him, the captain had a hard time closing the door. When he turned around, the co-pilot had already mutated. The few people left realized they couldn't just sit there and wait for the plane to land safely, so they immediately contacted the cockpit. But they did not know that the captain was dead. The plane was uncrewed and went into autopilot mode. They were going to get up and go to the cockpit to find out what was going on, but they were running out of bullets. To get to the cockpit safely, they had to get to the cargo hold and get the weapons the guards had dropped. Burroughs used everything he could to build a bomb. Then he ignited it and threw it into the cargo bay. With an explosion, the walkers have been largely cleared. Burroughs takes the opportunity to enter the cargo bay and finds the guard's weapon in the corner. Then he quickly returned. Just then, they noticed a fighter jet suddenly appear in the sky. Is it here to save them? Of course not. As the ground was unable to contact the plane, the plane did not reach its destination safely either, and the senior management behind the experiment guessed that the virus might have been leaked. Just in case, they must destroy the plane in advance, but only if they want to confirm that there are really no survivors on the plane. After three minutes, if they don't hear from the plane, the fighter jets will go on a bombing mission, the survivors are running out of time. It's a good thing one of the passengers can fly the plane. They plan to make their way through the zombies to the cockpit to send a distress signal. And so, a few of them dashed off. But the number of zombies is too many. Billy and his wife were unfortunately bitten. They knew what would happen if they were bitten. To cover the others to the aircraft cockpit, they chose to stay behind to block the walkers. The couple was surrounded near the plane hatch. So they decided to open the hatch and die with the walkers. A walker was sucked out and smashed into the engine. The burrows and the passengers made it to the cockpit safely. But just as they were about to radio for help, the fighter jet launched its missiles. The two men try to steer the plane to avoid the bombing, but the missile hits the plane anyway. A gaping hole was blown in the passenger cabin. A large number of zombies were sucked out. The zombies flew freely in the air. The pilot of the fighter plane was inattentive and was hit by the zombies. The airliner descended rapidly and soon broke through the clouds. Luckily, the two were mentally tough and landed the plane safely in the desert. The only four surviving people escaped from the disaster and lived a shy life from then on, but they did not know that a few zombies also survived. They walked to the city on the side. It seems that the crisis does not end there. The, ah! the film uses a lot of gory footage to stimulate the audience's senses. In fact, the real essence of the film is the last 30 minutes. At the end of the film, the door of the plane is opened. Under the strong air pressure difference, no one passed out due to a lack of oxygen to the brain. I really admire their strong physique. Well, remember to subscribe to my channel.
and I'll see you in the next video.